this heat is ridiculous. Anyway, what's going on, guys? So I'm bringing it back. Um, let's talk Gundam. I uh, kind of want to change the name for the good reason. Uh, so anyway, it's it's real hot, uh, as you can see. So you're going to have to pardon the tank top. I'm sorry if I'm half naked, but yeah, it's hot. <laughs> anyway, um, so basically I want to talk about a few things. Um, I'm sure I've not done this in a while, and I think now is a very appropriate time. Uh, I'm a little late on this news. Well, not not that I'm late. I was one of the, um, I guess I could say, because I stay up all night sometimes, and I'm not really on. I stay up really late, and so I was one of the few who were like, oh, snap, it's freaking perfect, right? Strike freedom. Anyway, um, so I'm here to talk about that and some other, I guess, future kits that I um, wanted to talk about. Uh, but most mostly specifically, uh, this is going to be a Gundam talk. So, first of all, of course, the <sighs> highlight would be the perfect grade or the announcement of the perfect grade strike freedom. Um, not that my opinion really matters to Bandai, and not that my opinion is very different from a lot of other people. Um, I was not too happy about that. I was, not that I'm really into perfect grades anyway, because like Prime 92 said, um, Prime is not really into perfect grades as much. The way I look at perfect grades is I also look at them as the 12 inch, the equivalent to a 12 inch high end collectible, like something from Hot Toys. Like if I had like tons of 12 inch Hot Toys figures from Predators or Predator, then I'd probably most likely have on the side a collection of perfect grades. That's kind of where I throw in the same category. They're all in the same price range, they're about the same height, roughly. Um, so maybe, you know, the one day I, I, I get into, oh, snap, and one day I get into uh, Perfect Grades will also hopefully be the same day I get myself a, uh, a Predator, a Hot Toy Predator figure, and I'm really excited to do that one, one day or another. I'm hoping when WonderCon comes around next year, I probably have some money to find a Hot Toy figure um, or something equivalent to that, buy it. Because so far I've gone to WonderCon to buy like anime related stuff, but this is WonderCon. It's more comic related stuff, and I really want to. I think this next coming year I'm going to focus on getting some NECA figures or something. Anyway, that, I'm going to say that for another conversation. This is about Strike Freedom, Perfect Great Strike Freedom. So I wasn't really too happy about this, but I'll, at the same time, it's not that I was pissed about it like a lot of other people, but. I was definitely, no, I wasn't pissed, but I wasn't happy of, of the selection, more like. It's not that, it's not that I'm, I'm a hater of Strike Freedom, um, to be honest, I have mixed feelings about Strike Freedom, because, one, I don't really like it, only because of the pilot. Um, I like the design, I like its abilities, so I don't like the pilot. Now, if you gave Strike Freedom to a normal pilot, I'm pretty sure... It probably would, wouldn't, if it weren't for the plot, it had what some people call a plot shield, which made it a god in the Sea Destiny series. And no Gundam should be allowed that type of ability. Um, I, like I said, I like Strike Freedom's design. Uh, I don't like the pilot. Um, I don't like the way they used Strike Freedom. It was, it was a god. They turned it into a god, basically. And I'm not a fan of that. I'm really not a fan of that. Um, now, Double O Riser is a completely different story. Uh, it is an, it is one of those overpowered mobile suits. I'm not too much of a fan of Double O Riser as I am of just the normal Double O Gundam. Uh, now that I think about it, I'm I'm really more of a fan of Quanta. Uh, sorry, not Quanta. Exia. I'm more a fan of Exia. Uh, that's a lot of swords, and that's awesome. Anyway, um, I was I was hoping for. Not that I was hoping for anything, really, because I'm not, like I said, I'm not going really into perfect grades as I sh could or should be, but, um, I was guessing, I was thinking it was going to be a Quanta or an Exia, because it would make sense, because Bandai could just reuse the interframe of the double O and slap on some Exia or Quanta parts on it. Pretty simple. Um, but, no, they went ahead and went with a whole new mold. Um, I guess because they didn't make a lot of sales with the Double O Riser, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the reason, because even Hobbyland Japan was putting out on sale for a while, 
Um, I gotta remember I have 10 minutes here. Oh, I have 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, I was, I was just hoping, I was thinking it was gonna be something else, but I completely wasn't expecting to strike freedom. Though I guess it does make sense because because of um, I guess the miss sort of miss at the uh, double O riser, um, they wanted to target our market to the uh, the fans of Strike Freedom, and apparently in Japan there's a huge fan base for Strike Freedom, so I guess um, they win, and us over here don't matter, of course. Um, but uh, like with my opinion with Double O Riser, it, it might change. Uh, it won't change in the fact that I might actually buy it. Um, I'm wondering how it's going to work because of the huge wings that it's got and because of the Dragoons. I'm interested in it, but not interested in enough, enough to buy. I'm interested in it to see the progression of it. Now, what I'm seeing with these, uh, with the line art here is, um, uh, it's designed, of course, by Hajime Toki, who designed a whole lot of Gundams, Endless Waltz, of course, Burka, um, and, I don't know, it could just be the angles of the lining and all that stuff, but it really looks bulkier than, than, uh, what it should look like. So that's a little something that I found off. I think, like, honestly, if anything, because of, um, um, because I'm so mixed feeling about Strike Freedom, the reason why I'm mixed feeling about Strike Freedom is, like I said, I like the design, I don't like the way it was used, but whenever I play Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2, I actually like using Strike Freedom. It's my second favorite, because of its agility, it's not too strong, it's not, it's very quick, and you can kill a lot of people using it. Um, my favorite, of course, is Wing Zero. Um, but, you know, that's... That's how I feel about it. I'm gonna. I'm interested in it only in the level of development, but anything, anything other than that, like trying to buy it or whatever, it's not gonna happen. Um, so yeah, that's that's how I feel about it. I'm not too upset about the decision. It makes sense, and of course I can't argue with it because it's not gonna matter anyway. It's already in development, um, and who knows? Maybe the next perfect grade might come out in the next, you know, year or so. At least we don't have to wait four years for the next perfect grade. You know. Um, but I do hope that Bandai next time, whatever your perfect grade is, it's something more concentrated on the engineering of a monarchy rather than um, gimmicks and popularity and things like that, like what you did with Strike Freedom. So that's, that's all I asked for. Um, like I said before, a long time ago, my favorite perfect grade that's been released would have to be either the, F the GP01 or the uh, Gundam Titans Mark II. Titans Gundam Mark II would be at the top of my list, so, you know, if ever I have the money to buy Perfect Grade, if ever I feel like buying Perfect Grade, it would be the Titans Gundam Mark II. I'm such a big fan of, the, of that design, uh, and of that mobile suit, so, that's my take on that. Um, uh, of course, there are these UC Gundam um, releases, like the Delta Plus, uh, which has this nice, sort of, sort of boring color scheme, um, but the colors for me work. Uh, I, I kind of like the design. It's, it is Hyakushigi, basically, because the backpack is very apparent. Um, thinking about getting that, I'm not sure. Uh, there's the... Uh, oh, it comes out in October, so probably not. Um, oh, no, I'm tripping. I'm talking about the... Uh, this is the Master Blade Rizel, actually. That's, uh, actually. that's actually a nice announcement for, right there, Master Blade Rizel. The one thing I'm more excited about is the High Grade Universal Century Sinanju. So, I've already... I've been placed my pre-order ever since they started, so I'm just waiting for that one. Just curious to see how it's going to work out. I'm not sure if this is what it looks like without all the stickers and stuff. I'm not sure if you're going to have to paint those lines or whatever. Or if they come included with some decals or whatnot, but this is, um, it's, it's something. And also, oh, okay, I've been wanting to post an opinion on the Master Raid Death Sight, um, Endless Waltz version, or... EW is what they call it, because apparently it's not really an Endless Waltz version, and, it's not, and neither is it a Verka. Um, it's just Mastery Death Sight, kind of, you're taking the best of two worlds, you're taking the Endless Waltz movie version, plus the animated version, putting it into one kit, and you get this. I was hoping, I was actually wishing they were, they were going to do the uh, straight-up animated version, just like they did with Wing Gundam, but then I realized the Wing Gundam Master Raid is not exactly anime, anime accurate. Um, from what I can remember, Hajime Kotoke did redesign the, both the Master Raid Wing and the High Grade After War Gundam X, redesigned them for the newer, for the new, uh, releases. 
so I'm thinking that's the same thing that he did here with this death site. Um, he basically um, took the animated version and took a little bit of a uh, little bit of moderni modernization to it, and that's what you get here. So I mean, it does come out next month, and it's not very expensive, but I'm probably not going to get it just yet. It is it does look cool. I mean. There's speculation that there's going to be a, an Endless Waltz version, a full-on Endless Waltz with the wings. That's that kind of custom version coming out. And all these other kits from Wing that are, that are supposed to be in the lineup. And so far, I, I really want to see where they're going to go with this. Uh, I want to see if they're going to make this a continuity. Are they are they going to go for, I guess, Heavy Arms next, I think? Um, and are they going to do that with this EW or more like Burka style? Or are they going to release um, the Endless Waltz versions? Because as of now, I have a I have an Endless Waltz Winter Custom, obviously. Um, and then I also have the still unbuilt Master Grade Normal Wing, which is sort of like on the same design aspect as this Endless Waltz Death Side. So I'm just going to wait it out and see what's gonna, what, what comes out of it before I make any decisions to buy. So, yeah, I think that's... It really. Um, well, there should be more. Oh, I guess I could quickly mention this, kind of on the same um, note as Strike Freedom. But this robot Damashi Strike Freedom is starting to look really nice. And if anything, I, okay, I, I built a high grade um, Strike Freedom. I was sort of satisfied with it, not really. Um, and I think this robot Damashi would be perfect for me because. Um, I'm really, I'm actually really curious about Robot Damashi line, and I think there would be a really, this Strike Freedom would be a really good candidate to be my first one that I experiment with. Um, it's $40, it's about the same price as an SK Figure Arts figure, it's the same company that makes it, it's Bandai, Tamashi Nations. Um, so, I'm curious to see how that works out. Um, what do you guys, I guess this is a question to you guys, what do you guys think of this double riser condenser type? Like, you think it's just another way to get, uh, milk out money? I, I mean, obviously it is, uh, but what do you think about, like, what's your opinion? Like, should it even have been made, or should they, or should they, should Bad I have saved their, save a little tiny bit of plastic and just made something else? Um, yeah, oh, right, 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 my last thing. Um, comment and speculate on Harut, Gundam Harut. Uh, suppose, apparently he's got six Gundam eyes, um, and what I really like about him is just the weapons. He's got these rifle and pincer bit combination things going on, and I think that's really awesome. Um, so yeah, that's, that's actually real cool. So oh, that was close. Okay, and, okay, now I'm a reminder of what else I'm going to say. Uh... Wait, is this Harut or is this Raphael? No, it's Harut. Okay. So, I actually cancelled my pre-order for... Not Keratin. Zabanya. Um... Because actually I, I wanted to see how it turns out. Um, I'm not sure if Robert184 will be getting it. But if any of you guys end up getting it first, I'm expecting a very informative review. Because um, I realized and I looked at it, I was kind of iffy about it. Uh, it really looked like it needs a lot of support more than Harut would, um, and even more than Raphael would. Raphael doesn't look too bad in terms of stability. Uh, so uh, I canceled that and I'm waiting for it. Um, if the case comes as well that I might have to do the same thing with Raphael and Harut, that I have to cancel one or the other, I'd probably cancel on. Um, Raphael, because I like Haru's design, especially in the flight mode. That um, you guys remember those old arcade space shooters that when you kind of just scroll side to side and shoot, and you get like different power ups for guns. The flight mode for Haru really reminds me of one of those, so I'm, that's one of the bigger reasons I'm attracted to it. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, what are your comments or thoughts or speculations on any of the things I mentioned? Uh, that's really all I want to get from you guys right now. I'm basically just uh, letting out my thoughts on these future releases, so that's it. See you guys next time.